Rachel, look at the night sky. It is so beautiful. Yes, babe. The beautiful stars, the moon, and some planets too. I want to look at the sky more closely. It is too far from us. Pip, you will need a telescope for that. And then you can look closely at the night sky, just like Galileo did. What is a telescope? Who is Galileo? Oh, Pip, too many questions. I will answer one by one. Telescope is an instrument that allows people to see distant objects. Telescopes are important tools in astronomy, which is the study of planets, stars, and other objects in the outer space. Galileo was the first person who looked closely at the sky through a telescope. He was a great astronomer, a philosopher, and a mathematician. I would like to know his story. If you know, well, that gave me a picture book on Galileo yesterday. Let's read it together. Yay! That sounds great. Hey, friends, would you like to read with us? It's a picture book, and it's gonna be great fun. Galileo Galilei was born on fifteenth February, fifteen sixty-four. Near Pisa, his parents were Vincenzo Galilei and Giulia Amannati. Galileo's father was a musician. Pisa is this the same city that has the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa? Yes, Pip. It's a city in Italy. Galileo spent his early years in Pisa. When he was ten years old, he moved to Florence, another city in Italy, with his family. His parents sent him to Camandelli's monastery at Vallombarossa, which is situated on the magnificent forested hillside of Florence. What is a monastery? In simple words, a monastery is a place where the people live and study about God and worship God. While Galileo was learning in monastery, his father decided that he should become a doctor. So he sent Galileo to the University of Pisa. But you said Galileo was an astronomer. Pip, there are many pages in the book. Let's see what happened next. Galileo was not interested in medical studies, and soon changed his subjects to philosophy and maths. In 1592, Galileo became the professor of mathematics. At the University of Padua. In 1609, Galileo heard of a telescope invented by a Dutch lens maker, Hans Lepersche. The telescope helped to see closely objects that were far away. Galileo was interested in the telescope and decided to make a better telescope. What do you say, friends? Was Galileo able to make a better telescope? Let's turn more pages. This is getting interesting. And Galileo did make a better telescope. The original telescope magnified the objects three times, while the telescope made by Galileo magnified the objects eight to thirty times. And when he looked at the sky through the telescope. Galileo saw what no one had ever seen. What did he find, Rachel? Let me turn the page, Pip. Galileo found that the moon did not have a smooth surface. Instead, it was made of craters and mountains, which appeared as patches on the surface of moon. He found that the Milky Way actually consisted of many small stars. He noticed that the planet Jupiter had four moons, and that the planet Venus had phases just like moon. Galileo also found spots in the sun. Did everyone believe what Galileo said? People of that time were not ready to accept anything that Galileo said, as for a long time, people and the churches 
have been following what Aristotle said, but Galileo wrote his observations in the report Discourse on Floating Bodies and Letters on Sunspots, which were published in the year 1613. Galileo also disagreed with the old belief that the Earth was the center of the solar system. Instead, he said that the Sun was the center of the solar system and the Earth and other planets revolved around the Sun. He even took measurements to prove it. The church was unhappy at these findings of Galileo, as it was opposite of the old belief system. It made Galileo unpopular. People complained about Galileo to the church in Rome, and he was called to Rome to explain his discoveries. So, what happened? Did the church in Rome agree to Galileo's reasons? No. Old beliefs are hard to break. The church ordered Galileo not to write or speak about anything that was against the belief of people. Galileo had spent his life trying to break an old belief through his discoveries. He earned a bad name, was summoned by the church, but that did not stop him. He wanted the world to know the science behind what he said. He was determined and courageous. In 1632, Galileo published a book, Dialogue Concerning the Two Chief Systems of the World. The book mentioned that the earth moved around the sun. He was called again by the church in Rome. The church punished Galileo for spreading false teachings and not keeping up to the promise he made to the church in 1616. Remember the promise? That Galileo would not write anything against the old belief system of the people. Galileo was kept under house arrest in his own home for the rest of his life. But he never stopped. He worked at his home and wrote his observations, which were secretly sent to Netherlands, where they would be safe. Galileo kept working even until he went blind and finally died on January 8, 1642. That is sad. People did not know that all his findings were true. Many years later, Galileo's discoveries about the solar system and the Earth revolving around the Sun became accepted scientific facts. In 1774, Galileo's books were moved from the church's banned books list and the churches apologized for the treatment they gave to Galileo. Like Galileo, you can be curious to know about the world around you. Why not start with the Make Me Genius videos on solar system and motion? Check for the links in the description box. Next time when you look at the moon, remember Galileo and what he went through to bring the truth to the world. Learning about the world around you will grow your heart and expand your mind. If you want to know more about Galileo, then check out our website www.makemegenius.com to find his biography, quiz and facts. And before we go, here is an activity for you. Make a picture book of a great personality that has inspired you and keep it on your study table. This will be your daily source of inspiration. If you have liked the video, then like it and share it. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss on our new releases. See you soon.